I practice in a four doctor group setting. I'm the managing partner here uh, in Roseville, California at, at Clearview Eye Care. And it's really instrumental for us to have equipment that allows us to see patients efficiently and to diagnose a myriad of conditions that range from children age you know, three months all the way up and, and to the people who are centarians. We manage a lot of disease uh, here in, in the clinic. And today I get an opportunity to speak with you a little bit about the way that we use the Claris 500 and how it has taken the clinical care that we offer to another level. We have the ability with the Claris to not only pick up things that are maybe a chronic set of diseases, but we'll follow things in a screening basis like retinal detachments, be able to tell whether we've got a macula on or macula off, know when that patient could be held or if that patient needs to be referred. It's really been a phenomenal tool for us because it allows us this opportunity to see a patient to deliver to them a diagnosis, to show them what their diagnosis is on the screen, and uh, with confidence they know that they can get the right treatment. The Claris allows us to see things with such great detail and with an assurance that what we're seeing is true. You know, Claris is an interesting tool because from a workflow standpoint, it allows us to capture a few components that are really necessary to an efficient practice, but an effective practice. One, in conditions like this, where we're looking at bear tracking or bear paw tracking, you can see the fine detail here. And I can compare that to previous Claris images and see that this is relatively unchanged. But in the same image, we've also got the capability to capture other elements. And this gets to the level of detail. So here's a cotton wool spot in an individual that was otherwise healthy without complaints and without any problems. The Claris has a host of tools that are incorporated inside of it that allow you to not only diagnose things in the far periphery, but to tease out layers within the retina, such as retinal bleeds or hemorrhages, using FAF blue and FAF green technologies to dive deeper into and understand where the tissue is most disrupted. So I'm often asked the question, why should I invest in technology and new resources, something like the Claris? And I would tell you that when it comes to patient care, patients expect us to invest in technology that can not only better our diagnostic capabilities, but their ability to enter into whatever condition it is that we're looking to prevent or we're looking to monitor. And so with Claris, you've got a tool that allows you to not only image the posterior segment, not only image the anterior segment, but with confidence monitor disease or a state within the eye over a period of time. It's really important that the investments that we make from a technology standpoint aren't just about us and the clinic, but about the patient's long-term health and viability.